You're probably watching this video because you're thinking about getting a Boston Terrier or you already have one and you're like, why the heck does this guy hate Boston Terriers? There's only two things that I don't like coming up. Hey everybody, welcome to the Boston Terrier Society YouTube channel. If you're new to this channel, definitely consider subscribing. If you're someone who wants to learn more about the breed, learn what it's like to be an owner, hear expert interviews from time to time, as well as connect with other Boston Terrier lovers just like yourself. I'm Donnie Gardner, the founder of bostonterriersociety.com. There you can check out a whole resource of Boston Terrier information. If you wanna learn more, you can check it out in the show notes below. Okay, there are a ton of reasons why I love the Boston Terrier breed. Obviously I have a Boston Terrier. You wouldn't get a dog unless you liked them, but there's two things that I don't like. I mean, this could go with any dog, but there's two things specifically that drives me nuts with Bella. And I've talked to other Boston Terrier owners and they've said the same thing as far as traits that you could also see within this breed. Now, before I get into these two, the six things that I do like about Boston Terriers is they love to snuggle, right? Bella wants to be by her side. Whenever we're upstairs, if the kids are over there playing or if the kids are laying down, she wants to be snuggled right in with them. The second thing that I like about Bostons are their toots. Now, a majority of Boston Terrier owners tell me that yes, they're Boston Terrier toots as well. I think it's something really funny because Emily will be like, do you fart or was that Bella? And Bella can literally clear her room. Coming in number three are zoomies. Now, Bella doesn't do this now that she's older, but whenever she was younger, she'd go nuts, just running back and forth. And if you don't know what a zoomie is, go check out the show notes below because I created a zoomie video where I actually have other Boston Terrier owners, they submitted their video of their dogs doing zoomies and it's just crazy. So if you don't know what that is, that's just where you're Boston. Typically at night, just goes nuts running around the house all crazy. So check out that video. The fourth thing that I like about the breed is their snoring. Me and Emily used to joke all the time that it was like having a 40 year old man sleeping in our bedroom because Bella would just snore so loud. If you're looking for humor in your life, a Boston Terrier might be the right dog breed for you. The fifth reason I like them is they don't bark. Now, whenever I say don't bark, Bella only barks either at us or if somebody's coming up on the steps, which I'm totally cool with. Coming in at number six is I love the Boston Terrier look. They're very unique and a lot of people don't have Boston Terriers, at least where I live. And so whenever they do see a Boston, they're just really impressed by their dapper appearance. I personally like the black, but I'm curious, what color of Boston Terrier do you like? Do you like the black, the seal, or the brindle? Bella has a little bit of brindle in her. Just put in the comments below, what's your favorite? But there's two things that I hate. Now, hate's a strong word. Let's just say dislike. There's two things that I dislike about Bella as far as her habits. Coming in at number two, before we get to number one, number two is whining. Bella will literally just sit by me and just whine. And this is after I've tried to do everything, whether or not it's feed her, water her, take her out, play with her. She will sometimes, but it seems like often, she'll just sit there and just whine. It even comes at the table whenever she's begging for food or whatnot, like she won't stop until she gets what she wants. Boston Terriers are stubborn and persistent, so I don't like the whining because it could happen often. And I think whenever it comes to whining, it could just be a training issue. Obviously we haven't done the proper training. Definitely recommend trying to find a dog trainer in your area to help you in the beginning stages when you first get your Boston to try to prevent this. All right, coming in at number one, and this is licking. Bella will literally just lick you for hours if you let her. Whether or not I get done running, she'll come and lick my legs. Whenever she was little, she would literally leave little sweat spots on the side of the couch where she just licks it for hours. And this seems to be a common Boston Terrier thing. It's what I see a lot within the Boston Terrier Society Facebook group talking about the licking issues. Now, if you already have a Boston Terrier, that's great. But if you're looking at getting a Boston Terrier, I don't want this to deter you. Just be aware of it. The whining and the licking, the whining can be helped with proper dog training. And as far as the licking, still trying to figure it out. If you know, put in the comments below, that can help me out. If you wanna learn more about Boston Terriers, be sure to check out this video, 10 Things Boston Terriers Love, or one of my latest videos here. Otherwise, until next time, life is better with a Boston.